Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today we're going to talk about GME and where we can find supports tomorrow or where we think this stock is going to go to. Right now it's definitely a momentum play. Definitely stacked on the momentum. Today we called a bunch of calls on it today. Miss Vegas pointed out GME Lotto at 200 bucks for 390 on January the 29th. She accidentally put the 20th in here, but it's the 29th. Bank or go bankrupt. So it's a lotto. That means you're taking a small risk because you're going to get in and out of it on the same day or the same expiry week. So GME, what does GME do? Well, they're GameStop. They GameStop Corporation operates as a multi-channel video game, consumer, electronics, and collectible retailer in the United States, Canada, Australia, and Europe. Uh, they, they sell new and pre-owned items. So, you know, it's really definitely popped up in her with COVID. I still think we're going to be playing these COVID plays into 2021. And this definitely matches up in that line. So let's go straight to the chart. GME. called. I did, played a call on this and I played a couple puts on it. As one of, when I come in this morning, I said this thing, or yesterday... When it started spiking and it had that big run up there to 150, that's when I decided to go ahead and start maybe playing my puts. And I played a pullback on it. I also played a call on this bounce right here off this ascending triangle right around the 124 area and run it up here, right up here to right around 140 and got out of the trade. And then here you are after hours. And I played one put and made a hundred and some dollars on it. And then I broke out even on the last one I did. I decided not to take the trade and glad I didn't keep it overnight because I would definitely probably have lost. So let's try to find support levels in this area here. We're going to start with this line right here for the first one, for the third one, right there around 149.62. And we got another one right here around 175.16 to this area right here at 189. And then we've got a couple other in here in this triangle. As you know, it's kind of held trend pretty well. It's starting to pull back a little bit. So that first support's going to be right. Let's magnify this up a little bit more. That first one's right about in here. You see we already broke past that. So the next one's going to be right down here at, oh, let me see. I'm still thinking right in here. But I like this right there, 207. And then that third one right down here, right there. And we got another one right here. So that's kind of how I see it. I see this being a strong support here at 189.19. That's got a hold. That's going to be your strong support level. When we come in here tomorrow, remember that number, 189.19. And then you got your other three. 217.62, 207.84, and then 267. That's going to be your third one with a strong buy down here at 189. If it does pull back here in the morning, we've got a couple lower supports too. Definitely this 150 area where we had that long breakout today. I took this one, but that was it. I tried to get back in it again. I decided to go ahead and break out even. I'm going to put. So that lower one, 189.19, needs to hold. Resistance to break is going to be right up in here, right around the 246. Let me see here. I'm not using the wicks. I'm using the body of that candle. I'm going to draw one more trend line in here. Right about there. Yeah, see, we, we definitely broke that that trend. So now we're below it. So if we run this back up, that's going to be our re little resistance bar right around 250. I'd say this 250 has got a break or it's going to pull back, like I said, this 189 and try to find a little comp, uh, area to go sideways. We might have a couple good days where it'll dip down pretty hard and then bounce back up a couple days and... It's, it's overextended right now. This had too good of a run. Just look at this run it's had on a 20-day chart. 
all the way down here from 17 bucks all the way up to 248.90 in a matter of two weeks okay it's a little overextended so definitely going to pull back i'm going to raise this level up here to this green bar so i can be alerted to that tomorrow i'm going to get it a little bit higher so i said 189.87 for that first alert that should be about right that's GME. Keep a good eye on it. Play the pullbacks. I think you'll be fine to scalp this tomorrow. There's going to be some people stuck in the trade for sure. And I'm going to see it. See if we can hold this 189.87, 189.19 area. That's, that's what needs to hold. GME. Everybody have a great day. Always remember, Miss Vegas called that call out today, so I hope you all banked on it. We have a Twitter account here. You can follow us on Twitter. Hit that follow button. We're posting alerts in here all the time of stocks that we're watching on a daily basis. We also have on our website, if you're not a member of our room, we do have a, a trial right here. We have our, our stock twits links. You can always hit us and follow us up on stock twits. I got mine there. Miss Vegas has hers right here. Just hit that follow button. We sure appreciate that. Always remember, GMC, GME, I love stocks. See how we pulled back to this other support right here at 217. So the next one's going to be at 207.84 or that 267. Let's put this on the one minute. Magnify this up. Yeah, pulled back that first support already. I think it's going to go ahead and pull on back down, and then we're going to have a little, try to find a channel. I love stocks. You all have a good day.